Hi, I'm John Paul Flintoff and this is The Together Project. Can I be really, really straight about something? I'm feeling a little bit like maybe you're not really having much fun and you want to stay at the back. We made these films with help from communities across Northern Ireland to provide a framework for you to make life so much better for yourself, your friends and your entire community. A bit of philosophy by this a brilliant philosopher called Raymond Williams and he says at one point that the key thing is not to make despair convincing but to make hope possible. And to make hope possible we have to work out what do we want it to look like. And that means that we have to do the thing that most of us are trained not to do, which is actually to inspect the problem. I mean, I basically think that there's a problem in society with people retreating behind, not just their doorway now, but more, as much in the country, gates at the bottom of their lane. Every week, every month, there seems to be eroded our Protestant culture. The orange order is constantly vilified by the media. And the community, they're all against one another. And okay. Instead of being all for one another. The community from where I'm looking at yes. is fragmented with right. all the various groups. But if we just notice, so there's isolation, there's fear of asking for help, there's fragmented community, there's nobody off eating together, there's no standing on the doorsteps. What you've really written is a prescription of what you want to have. You want to have people eating together, you want to have people coming together, you want to have people on the doorsteps together. And there's a little thing that I do um, in some exercises. It's a nice thing that helps to amplify and to make things get bigger and more exciting. One person says something and the next person follows up by saying yes and, but you have to say it quite enthusiastically. Yes, um, we'd like to see a situation where communities in Northern Ireland have lost their self-confidence regain it, regain their sense of aspiration, their work ethic. Yes, um, people being involved in positive organisations, whether that be their church-based organisations, or Orange Order, or women's institutes, or sports clubs. Until for July every morning. Every morning? <laughs> what will you do tomorrow to increase your willingness to help your neighbours out? Compliment someone, or be thankful if they've helped me out with something. And just for the sake of this session, don't be reasonable and realistic. Don't think, oh, well, I'll do something that's sort of attainable and it's like a bit boring. Go for something that's outstandingly amazing. So big time, big vision of what might be really cool. Yes, and have a happy community where people actually enjoy life and each other. Yeah, great. You look happier when you said that. <laughs> It, it seemed to me that the body language towards the end, when you're doing the yes and thing, and when you're constant, constantly, even though you want to say why it's not real and it's not going to happen and all that stuff, when you're allowing yourself just to say that stuff, it seems to change the energy in the room. So, your turn now. Take a look at the things you don't like, and then turn the telescope around. Find out by describing it with specifics what the world will be like when you get it right. Don't worry at the moment about being realistic or about doing things that you think you can do. What's something you can do in the next 24 hours to bring that vision into reality? Go for the most delightful vision of what you want and then let's see if you can make that happen.